In this video, I'll be CNC machining a cylinder head for a flathead Briggs & Stratton engine. I'm creating all of the G-code to cut the cylinder head using HackerCAD. First, I created toolpaths in HackerCAD to face the stock. Next I created the toolpaths to rough out the combustion chamber pocket. Okay, here's what I did to create the path for finishing for finishing the combustion chamber. So here's the combustion chamber. I created I made a shell that's so it's a collection of faces uh, offset one ball radius from the combustion chamber. I then extended extended the walls of the shell so they were nice and tall. After making the shell, I created a sort of a spiral face. So it's a big wrapped spiral face. And essentially what I did is that I found the intersection in between this, this spiral face and the shell to get, um, to get this edge on the shell. And so this, this edge will be what gets turned into G-code. So this here is basically, this block in the notebook is what created this edge on the shell. So my next step from here is to take this edge and turn it into G-code. Creating the G-code from the edge was pretty straightforward. So I used a HackerCAD ruled motion, which takes an edge for the tip of the tool and an edge for the shank of the tool. This is actually, this can be used for 5-axis motions too. Uh, here, to make the edge for the shank of the tool is pretty straightforward. So, uh, and I did that up here. I just took the original edge the, the tip edge, the edge on the shell, and I translated it upwards one millimeter and used that as the shank edge. Then you create a post processor using this axis because that's how I have my machine set up. And then you run the post processor, add your preamble and post amble, and uh, write, write the G code to a file. Copied, copied the code over, copied the G code over to my Linux CNC box over here. The tool height is set, 
the machine zero is set should be all ready to go I'm actually very happy with the way it turned out. The, these radii here may need a little bit of an attention. Big radius here, quarter of an inch. There might be some problems with valve clearance here, so I might have to come back in with a, a smaller tool. In this segment of the video, I'm playing back the process of creating G-code to clear out the radii above each valve in 10 times the speed. So first I got a reference to each face and exploded it into its individual edges, added a new a few new edges to make the face to enlarge the face to make sure that the cutter will get into all of the important areas. So I did that for each valve. In hindsight, I would have used a just a profile operation instead of a pocketing operation because the this thing ended up cutting air most of the time. So after I made the faces, I wrote a loop to create an adaptive pocketing profile for each of them. And then I post-processed and output the G-code to a file. To finish things up, I made some holes in the head. There's some exciting things on the horizon for this engine, so be sure to look out for future videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.